Welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be about making the flywheel. Um, I've elected to make it a little bit different and here it is all finished and painted. Um, uh, it has this uh, collet system which you can buy these commercially, not a lot of money, they're not worth making yourself. Um, and as you tighten these bolts up, it closes this collet here. Very simple, very clever, very cheap. And um, it also stops you having to drill quite an ugly hole, which is what the plans call out for, through here and put a grub screw in. So, uh, and I think it looks quite nice as well. And then it fits on there. So, and as you tighten these bolts up, it basically clamps it onto the shaft. So that's today's video uh, on the machining side of things. Slight update for you. Um, I'll try and bring you closer in. Um, there's a bit more work to do on the vacuum pump, uh, which I thought might be of interest to you. Um, there's a disc that you have to make that's then lapped in over the 12 holes you see that um, this has to be threaded I'm waiting for the die to come in at the moment 732 die um, to then put another sort of holding nut I think it must be uh, to stop this traveling up too far so this has to be quite thin and light um, so I believe as the vacuum is created it lifts that up to let the air out to create the vacuum and then drops down and it's quite simple um, but it works quite well I've also started uh, when I feel like it um, fettling up the uh, the water pump as well um, I have drilled that one already um, and there's going to be a gland cap that goes on top there and there's a bolt that you've got to make that goes on there uh, you've got to drill a hole in there uh, you've got to put a hole down there which holds a ball bearing that rattles around in there to allow the water out, I think, or in one of the one, one or the other. Um, and there's another little ball bearing that comes down here. So a hole's got to be drilled across there. Holes have got to be drilled down there. Holes have got to be drilled through there. So it's quite a tricky little thing, one to hold, um, one to work out in your head. Um, how it works as well I suppose it's a bit like an oil can but that's another project that I'm going to sort of be working on in the next week or so I will try and video some of it but um, it's uh, it's just a lot of drilling and uh, I'm not so sure it's going to be very interesting so I'll, I'll decide later whether I do that uh, but everything else is coming on uh, lovely really and I hope you enjoy the, the flywheel machining um i've speeded it up as normal and uh anyway that's today's video enjoy